Okay, hello everybody. Um, we're here to talk to you about dairy goats. Um, this this video is, is supposed to be for somebody who is looking to get into goats and um, for some reason you're looking at dairy. Let's, let's, uh, let's talk some about dairy goats. Uh, first of all, let's talk about how why we got into it uh, 10 years ago and we got our first goats. Um, we got our first goats in 2013. In 2013. And, and the thought behind that was, um, I, I was in more of a prepping mode at the time. Um, I didn't really like the idea of stockpiling goods and stuff. So I was looking at more learning how to be sustainable and mm -hmm. uh, have a continuous food uh, supply. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, go ahead. Just looking at producing our own food and being able to figure out what we could do for ourselves that we could do year after year. Exactly. Um, and, and maintain it. And um, I kind of erroneously thought that uh, dairy goats would give us both milk and meat. Mm -hmm. And and that's proven to, you can get meat from dairy, you do get you meat can. from dairy goats, but. It's a lot less. We, we have, in 10 years of doing it, we've butchered one goat. Mm -hmm. um, it just kind of, you bottle raise these, these critters, you know, and they're, they're yeah. close to you. and, and uh, when you milk them twice a day, you get, you get pretty close to them. Um, but the milk is really good. At the time when I got into this, uh, I don't know why I got into animals because at the time I was super allergic to everything. everything. Um, I, was, <laughs> I was allergic to pollen, yeah. animal dander. Um, yeah. The only animal that didn't bother me was a dog. We could have dogs. We could have dogs, but we couldn't have cats. We couldn't have... Um, wouldn't have even tried a bird or anything like that but yeah it was just even the environment around you bothered yeah like I, we're talking face swelling up yeah. eyes Crusty. swelling yeah. shut yeah. asthma yeah. attacks yeah. um but then uh you know i decided against even that that we were going to get goats and chickens we thought we could make it work in spite of yeah in spite of um, the problems he was having Oh yeah, and uh, I thought I'd just power through it, but what I didn't know mm -hmm. is after we got our goats and uh, we had we bought a milking doe first, and mm -hmm. she was giving us a half a gallon a day, mm -hmm. and and we were just in Seventh Avenue. It was yeah. so good. It's such sweet and creamy and fantastic milk. Um, it was just yeah, and it was like a, I felt like I ate a sandwich. You know, it was the yeah. first whole food that we'd ever nutritious. Yeah, very nutritious. Um, you drink it, and it's just you feel like it ate a meal mm -hmm. and uh kind of to our surprise after a month of drinking this stuff most of my allergies were gone mm -hmm. um i had started losing weight yeah especially your allergies to animals yeah uh, they the went goats first. didn't bother you anymore yeah um, and a couple months after that we got a cat which we yep. never would have been able to get without yep. without the goat milk and we, a, we know it's the goat milk I mean, we, for it fact, is we know. it is uh, whether it's the minerals in the goat milk or the uh, bacteria and, and microbiome of the milk doesn't matter to me because uh, it, it was probably both mm -hmm. um, without getting into it too much the the microbiome of of the milk trained my microbiome to respond properly to the uh, things that were previously allergens um, and, it, and she made a good point the animal uh, allergies went away first and it took a, a lot longer for the plant-based allergies mm -hmm. to go away mm -hmm. but they did eventually go away and and then uh, the first couple of years that we did this um, being newbies we hit a point where we dried out and we didn't have any milk for months mm -hmm. and my allergies would come back that's how we know it's the milk yeah that's that's pretty much how we know that um, and and so since then we've made it a a point yeah. to not hit any dry months. We have milk I'm never year round. Never without milk. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 you know, and we, we don't want to discourage you. I got my notebook down here, so I, I'm trying to catch all the points. But uh, we don't want to discourage you. But um, uh, dairy goating is the most involved out of all the goats. I mean, the other kind of goats, you you just kind of feed them and. You know, yeah, you feed them twice a day. It's it's taken care of. But you add the dairy on top of that, and milking twice a day, and the extra amount that you have to feed a milking doe that's producing. She requires extra feed. Mm -hmm. um, she is producing. She is an athlete at that point. Right. And she requires more nutrition than a maintenance a hay level burner. goat. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, a, 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 a goat that's not producing or pregnant, um, basically if you have hay available all times and, and free choice minerals, mm -hmm. that's all they need. Mm -hmm. And water, that's it. And, and that's why people like goats because they're uh, so uh, hardy and, and require so little. Mm -hmm. But dairy's different. Mm -hmm. Like she said, you, you have a goat that's performing like an athlete. Um, we know people who share their their dairy goat with kids, uh, meaning they put the kids on them for half a day and then they take them off and then they milk once a day. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. But you're, It works for some people. It, it, it does work for some people that's not real uh, uh, determined to have milk and, and they don't, you know, make cheese and stuff. You're never going to get your money's worth out of that dough um, as far as milk goes. Yeah. Um, to get your money's worth out of the dough you get you need to milk that dough twice a day completely empty and not share it with the kid um and and that's you take in a dairy situation you take and you feed the kids yourselves right so the mother's milk you empty them completely which a go a kid wouldn't always do um right they'd be sipping all throughout the day yeah they're never going to be completely at a point where they're empty yeah. and then you take and you feed the kid, but you know that dough is empty twice a day. That's the maximum amount of production that she's going to give you. And that triggers her mammary system to produce more. Mm -hmm. Whereas if a kid comes up and drinks a little bit and then mm -hmm. quits and then drinks a little bit, yeah. that dough's never really empty. Yeah. So it the the uh, amount that it produces diminishes really fast because mm -hmm. um, it's just all biology. Mm -hmm. You know, she still has milk in in her udder at the end of the day, so. Yeah why would you produce more exactly so it's really you know that's key and um that's key milking twice a day and, and mm -hmm. to do that like uh we won't get into nutrition in this video but basically yeah. um they have the maintenance level diet which is hay of grass hay available at all mm -hmm. times free choice minerals available at all times minerals are key and then they get grain while they're on the milking table and then once a day we give them alfalfa or chaffe or some other alfalfa extra protein yeah it, they need that extra protein yeah. you can feed bale alfalfa we found chaffe is readily available to us it always is, available it is and uh everybody seems to be switching to roundup ready alfalfa and mm -hmm. that's kind of the reason we do this is to stay away from yeah. that and chaffe is um non-gmo right. they don't always claim organic but they are non-gmo which right. is important to us it is Alfalfa is an, uh, a crop that has come to be GMO'd. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so getting on to another point is, you know, as we said before, you're involved in every process of this, do of this goat's life. From uh, y You're going to get this goat as a baby, more than likely, unless you mm -hmm. buy a milk and dough, and then you're going to have to have babies, which means you have to breed them which means you have to either have bucks or have access to bucks. Mm -hmm. um, that's an issue for some people. Keeping bucks is, is an issue. Is an issue. They stink. Yeah. Um, they're really, yeah. they get nasty and aggressive. Uh, they're powerful. They're big. They're, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And they <laughs> urinate all over themselves. And, yes. you know, a lot of people don't like that. And, and also, yeah. I'll put, throw this tip in here. I'm sure we'll touch on it later, but the bucks smell will taint the mm -hmm. the flavor of the goat milk mm -hmm. so if you ever have bad taste in goat milk you want to see how close the bucks are to the does yes and that's yeah. uh yeah you want to do everything in your power to keep that that milk as clean as possible and having bucks anywhere near your milking does is you're la you're asking for it yeah if you smell the smell you'd understand because it it it's sticks. Powerful. <laughs> it, and it sticks to things. It's a pheromone that everything. You know, it's meant to smell pretty yeah. bad. Yeah. Um, let's see. So you know, the the kids are, you know, you, the kids are a whole other ball game. You get you get into having kids, you have to learn how to birth. Um, and and we're going to do a whole bunch of birthing videos. We have one difficult birth out there now. Yeah. Um, we kind of did it out of order because that just happened at that time. Yeah. Um and breeding uh after uh, right and then you know so you got kids and you got to get into deep budding mm -hmm. um castration mm -hmm. you, you got to learn to sell your kids yeah 
That's pretty um, key. A lot of people go to goat shows and, and show their goats mm -hmm. to enable them to sell more yeah. kids. Because that's uh, kind of the thing about dairy. You have to freshen your goats. They have to have babies to be able to... Uh, to produce milk. To produce milk. Yeah. But you can get up to 10 months. We, we've got a doe right now that we've milked for 16. It's 16. 16, 16 months. months. She might be on 17 months. Yeah, and that's really yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we wouldn't normally do that, but she's doing really good. She looks good. Yeah. Um, normally we fresh them once, a, freshen them once a year. Yeah. Give them a two month break, two and a half month break. Yeah. Now the the book and and everybody kind of says 10 months. Um, you can milk them for 10 months and then. Um, you feed them during their pregnancy for two months without milking them and then freshen them again. Right. So, so kidding is, is, you know, having kids and stuff is, is part of dairy. Mm -hmm. um, no. And dealing with them. And, and I would point out that if you're doing dairy births, and if honestly, if you have goats and you're birthing, you really need to go to every birth. You need to be present right. at every birth. Um, Proper dairy birth. And, and we'll, we'll do a video on yeah, that. Yeah, we will. It's, just, it's key to... It, it's completely... It's, it's not like what the activist videos are where... Uh, you know, there's a mom and a baby together and, um, you know, we roll in yeah. and steal the kid and, and the mom's crying and the baby's crying. Right. It, if you do it right, it's not like that. It's not like that. Um, your mom, the mom bonds to you, the kids bond to you, everybody is happy, everybody is healthy, everybody is taken care of. And, and when, once we get to those videos, you'll see. Yeah, we, we keep our kids and our mom and our yeah. does next to each other and yeah. the kids get mom's milk and... Yeah, everybody is taken care of. Everybody's happy. The only yeah. thing that does not happen in the dairy is the kid does not suckle from the mother. That's yes. Yeah, that's yeah. really it. Um, now, if you're gonna, you, if you're looking, you, there's breeds and stuff like that. We we do American Alpine. Mm -hmm. We're very biased about that. We are. Um, we don't like La Manchas. We don't like the floppy-eared Nubians. No. Um, no. Sonnens are kind of boring. Toggenbergs are kind of boring. Yeah. Alpines throw. I've really come to love our alpines. Our alpines are They're awesome. They're pretty amazing. They're one of the the larger goats and the mm -hmm. bigger producers. Um, they have the upright ears. The upright ears, and uh, there's there's one right on the cover of this book yep. right here. Yep. They throw multiple colors. Uh, that's kind of the one of the fun yeah. things about them is you yeah. never know what you're gonna get. You really never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, and yeah. Um, but if you're gonna start, we recommend that. Uh, first of all, if you can, um, have a mentor, mm -hmm. have somebody so to teach key. you. So key, so key. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and it's just so valuable to have somebody. And a lot of times these breeders, if you show that you're interested and you show that you're like there for the stay, you know, you're not just mm -hmm. a, a flippant uh, goat buyer, Yeah. Um, they'll work with you because yeah. it actually means something to us to be able to to pass our kids on to somebody who's going to do something good with them exactly we want them to do well i want my kids to do well my kids my goat kids <laughs> <laughs> there are kids yes. to do well wherever i send them and there are honestly there's times where i feel very in trepidation at sending this kid home with somebody right. um but if somebody shows some inkling of wanting to learn and everything we have we'll bend over backwards we'll bend over backwards to right. help people out we want you to know everything, so. Yeah, we. this is. And first, we actually want to recommend a couple of good books. Yeah. We have, uh, these were our first two main uh, books. So, Stories Guide to Raising Dairy Goats, a ton of information in there. I can't tell you how much information is in here, even just in the beginning, um, in selecting your goats and, and birthing, breeding. Ten years and we still revert back to this book. I still book. read this book. Look at the, you can see the... <laughs> I, I mean, there's just a lot of information there is, in there. Yes. So, and then our second one is uh, just a basic veterinary book. Um, if you have specific problems, um, bloat, that kind of thing. Um, By Peter Dunn, the Goat Keeper's Veterinary Book. Yeah. Now, um, the reason this is, we feel this is important is is we have struggled watching people trying to do this by watching videos, mm -hmm. um, by just research on the internet. Um, there's just a lot of difference between having, you know, a goat book and what you may be able to capture uh, in internet searches and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is a complete how-to, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and it tells you about, I mean, you need to know about the goat's digestive system, 
Um, it, tell, uh, it talks about milk. Um, just the qualities of milk. This actually has a really good section on right. the different qualities of milk. And we're going to talk about that. Trust me. We are. <laughs> yeah. And you don't have to get these two books. Just get two books. Just yeah. if you're gonna if you're gonna invest so much time and money into getting a livestock animal like a goat, mm -hmm. go ahead and just get two books. Yeah. Um, any two books. Get two books, not just one. Two, two, because uh, I recommend a veterinary book and a, you know, pretty much a basic how to. Basic how to. Yeah. Um, but like I said, that that is all, you know, secondary to a, a good mentor. So. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. Well, I think that's about it. Uh, this is mostly a discussion. We're gonna do a ton of videos after this. We're just getting started. Yeah. Um, it's kind of tricky where, where to start out because to us it's a it's a circle yeah. it, it's a circadian rhythm for us we, mm -hmm. we uh we're it's breeding season right now so yeah. maybe that's where we'll start our videos yes yeah. we do breeding. have some goats to go breed actually we, we do right now we have two that are in <laughs> heat today so and i'm very excited to get those girls back on the table it's uh yeah it's another circle starting all over again yeah and, just keep in mind, um, you know, there's more to dairy than than uh, than any other goat keeping, and you know, your goats are athletes. Mm -hmm. They perform like athletes. You get a breed like these American Alpines, or a Nubian, or a Saanen, or any dairy breed. They are literally built to perform, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you got to feed them like that, and you got to treat them like that. These these animals will produce until they. Drop. They will give you a thousand percent. Yeah. You take care of them, they will take care of you. Exactly. And they become like family. They are family. Cool. So I think I think that covers it. I think that covers Catch it. Catch you in the next one. <laughs>